for many people, the old ways, you know, the, the ways of the past, the ways of tradition were God, country, family, okay? And a lot of that has been lost in our anonymous, atomized, modern society. Um, half, half the people in the country don't have any type of faith, which is, I'm not, I'm not knocking that. Um, the country no longer provides, in my opinion, at least in the West, the social contract that one should expect from a, con a country. You know, you've got half the population in complete um, an antagonism with each other. You've got so many groups of different tribes fighting with each other, identitarian politics. Uh, it, it, you know, the West are countries that are divided. You've got high taxes. You've got... You know, it's very difficult to become an entrepreneur with taxes and inflation and, and all these different things working against you. As far as family goes, you're looking at a 50% a divorce rate. Families have been ripped apart. Um, it, children have been traumatized growing up under divorce. You know, we are living in, in, in a totally different reality than, than we've lived as humans over the last 10,000 years in, in these agricultural societies that we've built up. And it truly is a time of change. And there are some positive things that we're able to come out of, um, you know, these cultural revolutions that we've been going through. But there's really been, in my opinion, a lot of loss, okay? There's been a lot of loss. And there's a lot of guys feeling like they're alone out there, uh, especially for guys who are charting their own path. Maybe you're reading stuff like uh, My Material, and you have different ideas that are outside of the reality tunnel, the common reality tunnel. You want to build a different kind of life. You want more freedom. A lot of the time, it, you end up feeling isolated. You can end up feeling alone. I, I live here in Thailand. I see a lot of guys come out here, and a lot of guys are, are alone. I see a lot of guys that don't look happy. I see a lot of guys that don't make it out here. Um, and, you know, I want to give you... A different newer reality for those of you who are coming out of that reality tunnel that, that you've been brought up in and you've seen you know how the you know the country isn't functioning the way you want it your family isn't functioning the way you want it you know you don't have that tribal I want to give you a new paradigm for, for you to be able to use okay so I'm recreating all those things I realized you know a while back that that I'm gonna have to re recreate those older realities, but in the way that I want them to be. So for me, it's God, then myself, which is my wealth, health, relationships, lifestyle, and my mission, okay, which is RLD. Then it's my tribe, which is my, my family and my guys. And then it's my community, which is you guys, as well as, you know, people that I interact with in, in my daily life where, you know, I'll shop local as opposed to you know, going to the major store if, if I like the person that's running that shop, that type of thing. So just you guys and enhancing sort of the, the narrow community around where I live. And when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to think what I have to do. Okay. I'm doing, I'm saying my prayers. I'm taking care of my health, wealth, relationships, lifestyle. I'm doing stuff for my tribe and I'm doing stuff for, for you guys. And that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. It's that simple. I'm not trying to change the world. And if I do affect some change, it's going to be through changing you individually, okay? And I've taken responsibility for all those things. That's the important part. I've, I take it on as my obligation for myself to succeed, my family, my tribe, and you guys, as much as I possibly can, I am waking up to be in service to those things and taking it on as a responsibility and an obligation. And having that responsibility and obligation makes you that much more invested and gives you that much more of a sense of purpose, okay? Too much independence and too much freedom is overrated. I'll tell you that right now. Too much freedom, too much independence, you feel lost. You need to have a sense of obligation. You need to be able to wake up with a mission. You need to have a certain amount of tasks that you have to do or you don't feel like you're accomplishing things and you don't feel like you're a man, all right? Taking responsibility, taking an obligation for those things. And... Having a tribe is, is awesome, okay? Especially when it's like-minded guys, all right? So I've had a lot of requests for this, and I'm gonna tell you how to first define your tribe, okay? So number one, they know your name. So that rules out all politicians, movement leaders, and anyone trying to sell you that 
identity politics where we have to all get together to change this thing, except I'm leading it and you're following and you're giving me money and attention and clickbait. All right. So that those guys aren't part of my tribe. Um, politicians aren't part of my tribe. Uh, business and banking leaders aren't part of my tribe. Anyone who doesn't know my name, I saw on the last election cycle, people are fighting and dying in the streets for politicians who are billionaires who don't know their names. Okay. That is not your tribe, dude. I'm telling you that right now. The first thing that has to be part of your tribe is they have to know your name. They have to have met you in person. Okay. Number two, they like you. Rules out people who don't want to be in your tribe. Number three, they're honest, loyal, and dependable. That's going to rule out 90% of people you know. Real talk. They're accountable. They do what they say. They show up on time. They are reliable. They they actually follow through on the plans and what they said they were going to do. They'd help you move at the last minute, okay? There, there goes 99% of your Facebook friends, of your so-called Facebook friends, okay? Who would help you move at the last minute? 99 of your so-called face, 99% of your so-called Facebook friends would say, Ooh, sorry, you know, I, I wish I could, but excuse, and I don't really care about you that much, all right? That's, that's the reality of it, okay? They're winners, okay? You are the five people you surround yourself with. If you sur surround yourself with low consciousness, negative guys who aren't trying to achieve things in life, that's the kind of vibration that you're going to attract. That's the kind of person that you're, you're going to be. You want to sur surround yourself with the best people possible, okay? So this should leave you with about zero to five people. I think five, maybe 10 at the tops. So that's your tribe. And that's how you define them. All right. How to build your tribe. How to build your tribe. Okay. First, become valuable. Whether that's money, connections, intelligence, charm, kindness, support. Maybe you have a platform. I have a platform that can be useful to my guys or for, for bringing guys into uh, my tribe. Um, Number two, put yourself around like-minded winners. That has been a lot easier here in Asia. It's not great in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is not a great place to meet people, but it is better than the West because most of the, the guys that I'll meet out here will be independent, will be entrepreneurs, will sort of have pulled themselves out of that common reality tunnel. I'll have more in common with them. A uh, better place would be Bangkok or uh, Kuala Lumpur or uh, Ho Chi Minh, which I will be in uh, within the next year. They, uh, and number three, make, make sure that they're fit. Okay. Make sure that they have the same mindset you do and, and that they want to be part of the tribe. Okay. When you build up your tribe, you're going to want to have some tribal rules, whether they're written out or, or whether they're, they're just, um, sort of, you know, going without said, uh, the first tribal rule, if you can, is get people paid. Okay. The best way to get people to do what you want is get them paid. Matt does my graphic design, you know, he, he gives me a great rate and it's not a ton of money, but it's going to be more money in the future. I'm going to want to do marketing with a couple of my other guys. And when I buy a condo, I'm going to get my man Ryan to, to, uh, you know, sell that to me. I, I want to give as much money to my friends as possible. I, in fact, I want to be able to give all my money to my friends. I want to be able to get to, to, to do all the work that I need for my business and the stuff buying things in my life, major ticket purchases. I want to be getting that from my friends and the guys in my tribe. So get people paid. People love you when you get them paid. Number two, give give tremendous value. Give as much value as you can to your friends, whether that's support, you know, brotherly love, you know, on and on and on. 